Hello everyone. Welcome to my fifth tutorial of Relational Database and Practice in MS Access DBMS tutorial series. This tutorial is all about how to establish relationship in MS Access table. Retail Shop App Database Model for our MS Access App Building are explained you tutorial 3. How to make tables required as per our database model are explained in tutorial 4. Now, this is the time to establish relationship in customers table, products table, orders table, and order details table. If you have not seen those tutorial, then please see that tutorial first, because it is interconnected. I will suggest you that, to have better understanding, the concept of relational database and, understanding the MS Access DBMS tools, do not skip any tutorial. Tutorials are designed in such a systematic way that, you will not realize that how and when you have become expert in relational database and MS Access just by completing these tutorial series at the time of last tutorial of this tutorial series. And, this is my final goal, to make you expert in relational database and MS Access in a very simple, comfortable ways. So, welcome aboard to this tutorial. One of the obvious question you may ask me, sir, what is relationship and relational database and why it is required? Further, you may ask, how do we establish this relationship in MS Access? Here, I am, to explain you. Relationship is a connection between two tables that is based on a common field. Establishing relationships between tables is crucial for maintaining data integrity and creating more complex queries. The relationship is typically based on a primary key in one table that is related to a foreign key in another table. I have explained about primary key and foreign key in tutorial 3. To establish a relationship in MS Access, go to Database Tools tab in the ribbon area, right here on the screen. Click it and come to Relationship Group. Click Relationship Command button. You will see, blank relationship window, like shown here. You might have noticed that, as soon as you click Relationship Command button, Relationship Design tab is shown in the ribbon. This is the contextual tab. You may ask one question to me that, sir, what is contextual tab? I'll explain. In Microsoft Office applications, including Microsoft Access, a contextual tab is a special type of tab that appears in the ribbon toolbar based on the context of the task you are performing. Now, click Add Table Command button located in Relationship Group of Relationship Design Contextual tab. It will pop up show table dialog box. In this, you will see three tab tables, queries in both. For the time being, we will focus on the tables only. So, select tables tab. It will show you all the tables in this database. Till now, we have created four tables. So, all these four tables. Customers table, product table, orders table, order details table shown here. Select all tables and click add button. In the relationships window, you'll see the tables you added. Drag the primary key field from one table, the field on which the relationship is based, to the matching foreign key field in the other table. After dragging, the edit relationships window will appear. Here you can specify the relationship options, such as enforcing referential integrity and defining cascade updates slash delete options. Enforcing referential integrity helps maintain consistency between related tables. One obvious question may have arise in your mind that What is enforce referential integrity? What is cascade update related fields? What is cascade delete related records? Do not, do not worry, I am right here to explain you. Referential integrity is a concept in database management that ensures the consistency and accuracy of relationships between tables. Referential integrity is maintained through the use of primary and foreign keys. These are the key concepts related to referential integrity. Primary key. A primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. It ensures that each record can be uniquely identified. Typically, a primary key is a single field or a combination of fields that uniquely identifies each record. Foreign key. A foreign key is a field in a table that refers to the primary key in another table. It establishes a link between the two tables. 
The foreign key typically contains values that correspond to the primary key values in the related table. Relationship A relationship is established between tables when a foreign key in one table corresponds to the primary key in another table. This linkage defines how the data in the related tables is related to each other. Referential integrity Referential integrity ensures that relationships between tables are maintained. It means that foreign key values in a table must match an existing primary key value in the related table. If a foreign key references a non-existent primary key, or if a primary key is deleted or modified, referential integrity is violated. Enforcing referential integrity You can enforce referential integrity when defining relationships between tables. Enforcing referential integrity means that the database system will prevent actions that could lead to inconsistency, such as deleting a record with dependent records in another table, or updating a primary key that is referenced by a foreign key. Cascade options When defining relationships, you can also specify cascade options, such as cascade update and cascade delete. Cascade update ensures that changes to the primary key are reflected in the foreign key values. And cascade delete automatically deletes related records in the dependent table when a record in the primary table is deleted. By enforcing referential integrity, a database system helps maintain the accuracy and reliability of data relationships, preventing situations where data inconsistencies could occur due to incomplete or incorrect references between tables. Hope, things have not gone above you head. So far so good. Okay, with these concepts of enforced referential integrity, we will start establishing relationship between tables. Thumb rule is drag the primary key field from one table, the field on which the relationship is based, to the matching foreign key field in the other table. And do the setting of referential integrity. So, drag customer ID primary key in customer's table to the customer ID foreign key in orders table. After dragging, the edit relationships window will appear. Tick the checkbox of enforce referential integrity, cascade update related fields, cascade delete related records. Click create button. As soon as you click create button, a line has been drawn between customers table and orders table. This is the pictorial representation of relationship. You will see, 1, near customer ID field in customer table and infinity, near customer ID field in orders table. It means, these two tables are related to each other's and it is one is to many relationship. This is what, we wanted to establish. It means, one customer might have so many orders. Congratulations! You've successfully established very first relationship between tables in Microsoft Access. Establishing relationships in Access is fundamental for designing a robust and efficient database structure. Just follow the concepts and establish the relationships for all the remaining tables, as shown here, in front of you, on the screen. I will teach you how to make the forms in MS Access in the next tutorial. If this tutorial is helpful to you then please like, share and subscribe. I will catch you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.